good morning, YouTubers. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. In the Bali region, there, um, East Java, uh, we've got an earthquake swarm that's been going on for about eight hours now. And I'm wondering if they have another volcano that's going to erupt there. Going to Google Earth, here we have uh, yeah, East Java. Let me bring it out a little bit so you can see what's going on here. The location. We got the Sudan Trench. Uh, this area is all subducting. This is the Australian plate going north. So the earthquake swarm showing um, harmonic tremors. Let's see. Let me go back over here. And if you look at the line of the earthquakes, USGS is only reporting three earthquakes. EMSE is doing a great job in reporting them. The largest being uh, a magnitude 5.2. Here we have Mount Agung. And sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I try to map out the majority of these earthquakes. Um, and then the uh, felt reports. Here we got one that was a 2.6. It says, Ahoy, we are having an earthquake festival here. Yeehaw! Hopefully I'll stay alive. Who knows? Another report from this small earthquake, it says here again, is already six times. Uh, yes, we felt at least two of the earthquakes in uh, Santa Ur. Uh, whoa. So going to Google Earth, let's go to the location of that 2.6. You can see it was offshore here. There has been a couple uh, near populations. We got this uh, 2.5. Um, let me zoom in a little bit farther. Okay, and then we got this other one, which is a 2.9. And we'll zoom in. Yeah, more populations there. You can see all the small little groupings of um, houses. One of the reports for the 2.9, it says two times around 6 p.m. The second time was much lighter. Now for the largest one, uh, the report says here, these are not aftershocks. Window shaking, floor shaking, stronger than the first quake. A really hard shake for about 10 seconds. I felt more strong than the first one. Uh, quite strong. Just gives um, Indonesia 32 kilometers west. So that would be almost 20 miles west from where the 5.2 occurred. Uh, that one a bit heav heavier and a bit longer. Windows rattled quite strong. Again, feeling stronger. Stronger, very short quake. I was in the shower and shaked very hard. Um, lasted for about one minute. I can see wire for windows blind shaking. This one felt stronger and longer than the one about 40 minutes previous. 63 people reported it to USGS, the 5.2. They gave it an intensity level of 7. Over here on the right would be the Richter scale intensity level. So we do have five here. It says intensity level seven. Everybody runs outdoors. Damage to buildings varies depending on the quality of construction. Noticed by drivers of auto. Yeah, sending prayers to you guys. Do you have any damage? All right, so let's go to that 5.2 location. Let's bring it out. And it's way over here. And we got a lot of coastal areas. So these are probably the people that ran outside somewhere over here. Yeah, I wonder how much damage they could possibly have. Now this 5.2 USGS has it as a thrust earthquake. Meaning one side rises up and the other side stays stationary. Let's go back to the seismic signature. There's a spectrogram. And 
All right, let's make this bigger. Now it's a little hard to see there. All right, let's go to the stream view and we'll extract that. And we'll make that bigger. See how it's up and down over here. And then we got where the fault moved. Yeah, thrust earthquake. Over here, we probably have the one that um, was reported earlier right there. And we'll make that one bigger. There you go. Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger for you. That might be the uh, 4.9. Here it says significant aftershocks. The earth happened many times. Small shake. Took about 10 seconds. Uh, quick light shake. Real strong shake for a couple of seconds. Shaking for about 3 seconds. Um, I am afraid, yeah. TV and lights moving felt the floor move. That was 55 kilometers southwest. There is one Twitter post showing the shaking of the earthquake here. Yeah, people going outside. Yeah, only a few. Another Twitter post showing the tiles that were um, falling down off the roof between these two buildings. Yeah, it looks up and um, this is probably afterwards. Now, there's another Twitter video. Let me play this. People are just too darn close to the sides of these buildings. In fact, there are many of them. Look at that. They're under the overhangs. Yeah, you should get away from buildings. I don't know if this is from that earthquake or uh, a previous one. A lot of times they'll use a, a video of earthquakes and say it's more recent, but it's not. Now, another Twitter post saying because they're afraid of aftershocks, please, People are or were sleeping outside, and it shows them on their uh, mats and their blankets sitting outside. This uh, video, let me see. Um, I'm not going to even try and pronounce the area. There hasn't been any reports of injuries. Uh, the one shaker was about 6 p.m., um, I don't know if anyone got hurt by tiles or anything like that that slid off the roofs. USGS did not send out a tsunami warning. I haven't seen anything. Um, nothing here is on the uh, ndbc.noaa.gov. And you can see there is a yeah great lack of boys and a lot of them do not work. Many of them have been vandalized. Uh, the maintenance has not been upkept. Yeah, and you can see there they got the Java Trench. So here we have when I pulled the files, and you can see we got some really long. Yeah, this is why I say it's volcanic tremors. And yeah, let's go over here. And this is when the, uh, yeah, the fault was moving. And this is what it was showing just before. Yeah, I pulled the files. See? Yeah, volcanic tremors. Um, you know, I don't know what the direction is for the magma that comes up to this volcano. The three earthquakes that USGS does show, um, they have it 6.2 miles below sea level or, uh, yeah, 10 kilometers to 9.6 kilometers. Yeah, there's been a lot of eruptions around this area, uh, the Ring of Fire. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, as always, be prepared for any type of disaster. If you're prepared, you're a little bit safer than most people. Um, please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.